This is a production of Cornell University. Cornell University is, in the interest of public safety, hereby proclaimed under martial law. Do not sleep with your mouth open. Yes, cities, nations, even civilization itself threatened with annihilation. And what are these horrible beasts that threaten all of mankind? So this is Insectapalooza 2007. We have three floors of the building that are running with displays. Almost all faculty, graduate, and undergraduate students are participating. Uh, we have exotic insects from all over the world. Uh, we started more modestly four years ago just to see how it would work, and it exceeded our wildest expectations. And last year we had over 3,000 visitors. And so it's one of the more spectacular outreach events that the college holds. The uh, activities for children start from things like building bugs, face painting, things like that. Uh, they range from displays of integrated pest management to the diversity of insects. They can't understand English? Probably not. Uh, we have a handful of maggots display that's always a very big uh, popular event, almost a fear factor type. Uh, do you dare to plunge your hand into this bucket of maggots? It's a real bug. We have chocolate chip cookies with uh, roasted salted crickets. So you can, if you choose to eat around the cricket, you can. But uh, we encourage people to just try it. Um, to me, it tastes kind of like a big Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> a Rice Krispie puff. Well, I think another favorite is the insect zoo because we have some things that you can actually have hands-on. We have, for example, some walking sticks that are you know, enormous. This is a new mini walking stick. We have several spiders that are not hands-on, but they're enormous spiders, tarantulas and others that are very interesting. We have the, the deadliest scorpion on the planet. There's sort of this fascination and kind of this fear of these insects and creatures. Um, spiders especially kind of arouse that, and I'm not sure why insects are so different than spiders, but a lot of people have this fear to spiders that they don't necessarily have to insects. So we kind of combine them all and say, you know, appreciate them for what they are. Look through the cage, look at them, and we kind of explain some of the history and why they're important, why we actually need them. So we have the cockroach race down there. You can uh, determine which cockroach you think is getting through the track faster, and it's like NASCAR with six legs. Hold on to the end of the stick here, and we'll put this all the way up. You are now a honeybee. We hope people have fun and enjoy themselves for a day out. But we also hope they take something home and just know that the appreciation of insects and what they do for us, some of the different things that they're important in our lives for.